Right, yeah. we've been sent this. Um, this is from August. They saw our video of the review of the August 9 inch digital TV, which we used quite a bit when we were with, our, with the Bailey loan. And they said, well, we'd like to try this. Now this is an add-on FM DAB DAB plus radio receiver with Bluetooth. Um, no idea how I'm going to use this, but let's have a look what's in the box. Okay. And the idea is this sort of, oh, open that up. So they saw me plugging the TV into my amplifier and wondered if I could use this. Well, that's not very big, is it? Right, so you've got this box here that looks like it's in um, compostable plastic, which is always good. And that's the DAB receiver, so that's quite interesting. Not very big, in the palm of my hand. I've got an antenna there and an auxiliary and a charging point. So presumably they've provided a charger. Yep, a little charger thing. Yeah, so that's a USB-C charger. So we'll charge that out and see how we get on. Batteries, so presumably it uses rechargeable batteries. Have a look at that in a minute and it's got a remote with it as well so it's got a little remote with it so that might be quite interesting right what else is there a manual in 65 million languages oh that's just safety and the guarantee so <laughs> in 65 million languages Probably shouldn't be too complicated to use. Oh, there's a lead. Okay, so what a lead have we got? Oh, it's a little mini, um, what are they called? 3.5 millimeter jacks. So we could plug that into the amplifier, uh, into the radio on the on the motorhome. So I think possibly what I can do, and I'll, I need to try it, is I could use this as a dab radio in the motorhome. It's probably small enough actually to sit on the dashboard as well. Right. I'm going to have a look. Sorry. Have a look that way. Turn it that way. We'll have a little play with that and see how we get on. I think we just worked out the batteries go in the remote rather than the unit itself. Let's see how to get these off. Let's push down on that. I think I need some instructions on how to open the where the batteries go. Always look, that's it, push it back. There we go. Right, figure that out. I'll put some batteries in it. It's got like a plastic cover on it. Right. Now one of the things about this DR245 is obviously it's a dab radio. My current home amplifier doesn't have DAB radio built in, it has FM radio built into it, but uh, it doesn't have DAB radio. I can't play you what it's playing at the moment because I'll get a copyright strike, but it sounds pretty good and uh, not had any problems with the sound. A couple of negatives though first, let's get the negatives out of the way. The aerial on the back is this little tiny bit of wire sticking out the back you can see that it looks a bit flimsy to me I'd prefer it if there was a proper aerial socket or even a proper aerial because all you get really is this little bit of wire I just sort of was just attaching it to the telly somehow just to put it somewhere it seems to work when I switched it on it, it tuned in and it found all the stations and uh, yes Dab radio seems to work very well. The other negative is the lead that comes with it. Or doesn't come with it. Yeah, because the lead that comes with it is just these, I think they're called mini 2.5 millimeter stereo uh, so, uh, jacks. 
and they go into mini 2.5 millimeter sockets of course of course my amplifier doesn't have those sort of sockets and you can see the sort of sockets it's got on the front here it's got USB uh, headphone socket and on the back it's got HDMI and what are called RCA connectors so it hasn't got one of those connectors so to connect it to the home amplifier what I had to get or I had to dig around in the garage for ages is a mini 2.5 millimeter jack that connects to an RCA socket lead I know you can find them but it would just be nice if it came in the box so obviously with one of these connectors I can now plug that into the back of the amplifier so I think you'll have to take my word that that actually uh, is working with the amplifier what I can show you however is the Bluetooth it, this is also a Bluetooth it's also a Bluetooth um, receiver so I'll put it on Bluetooth mode now turn the amplifier up a bit really handy obviously if I've got um, things like uh, internet radio on the laptop I can play that as well any apps that play music play audio so it's a bit like having a Chromecast for audio so it's really handy for that yeah it just sits on sits on top of there so I know what you're all asking, what's this got to do with motorhomes? Right, so in the van and I've hooked up the DR245 to the auxiliary input at the bottom of the van I switch the radio on there and you'll have to believe me that sounds really good quick blast so you don't know what it is but yeah it's uh, actually very loud I think it you actually see it quite nicely just down there in the uh, cup holder any problem obviously with using it in the van when you're stationary is that those USB sockets at the front they don't work so I've put a long USB lead and I'm using the USB socket from the habitation area that does work so yeah so you don't need a battery or anything just a USB lead that works and I wonder if I can actually use that on the go I'll have to try it perhaps try it in the car see how we get on but yeah I'm really pleased with that it obviously means of course I can also do it and um, play things via the Bluetooth as well. Let's do that. this little device 
that's brilliant if you like gadgets it's something that you might want to have a look at yeah so there's a discount code if you want to buy this little device which you can use at home and in the motorhome and I'll put that in the description below so if you like this video give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe hit the notifications icon and I'll be bringing you other product reviews things that might be useful in your motorhome see you soon